Well, right. Hello, hello, everyone. I'm going to be getting into some Liam. Liam really himself. Or Royly. I've got to remember, even though I see it as really so that I remember how to... Really is how I see it so that I can remember how to type it. Or, um, yeah. Thing, it's Riley is pr the pronunciation. My fucking brain sometimes. <laughs> Liam Royley. We're going to be getting into things in a moment. Just making sure everything else is all right. That stream looks so good. Team speaking, everything is functioning. We are in the server. Doing a little checkies. Right, you can find a hairbrush in one of these things. The horse, I think. I think it's like one of the bottom ones, maybe. Be sprinting around like mad chickens. Kidding me. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Delaney buys it from them and he sells it for 20. My goodness. How you doing, fella? I'm looking at the red line. How can we help you? Oh, yeah, it's going all right. What about yourself? Oh, everything's doing all right. fine. I'm gonna take it easy, Miss Misty. Get a bath and 
Oh, I'd say maybe a whiskey. An Irish a whiskey, variety. okay. Oi. You want an Irish whiskey? Oi, indeed. Just one. Oi, that'll do me for now, at least. You know, work me way through them. All right. It's gonna be two dollars. Here, I got some other saloons to stop by. All right, Mister John. Back good meeting way. you. It's good to meet you. You take it easy, bud. Way well, much been happening around these parts. Well, people coming and going. They're coming and going, but ain't too many staying. No, I say. I see There's usually some uh, action going on, but... Where's it going, lad? Howdy. Doing alright? How's it going? What can I get for you, mister? Uh, I'm actually good. I was looking for a lady, okay. but she doesn't seem to be in here. Miss Misty? I appreciate that. Uh, no. I was about to say, you just missed it. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate you. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. You have a good one. Well, at least it seems the doors are getting some work. Do what? The doors, you know, the, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. They your front doors are getting them. a little bit of work. Yeah, oi. Those things get sticky. I don't know what they're spilling on them. Why not a clue? Do you work around these parts often, or, uh... Yeah? What's your deal? Well, I, hell, I just started last night, to be honest with you. No, I see. the ropes. Yeah, I was out playing guitar out on the front porch, and a lady asked me if I'd like to get a gig here. And I said, hell, why not? I might as well get paid for it. And she said I could bartend and do security and all that, so honest living. Well, that makes sense. I believe it was Julius or something that I was talking to yesterday about these times. Uh, he was a baby there. Julius. Yeah, Julius was just here. Oh, is he? My name's Kid. Well, nickname, you know. That's what everybody calls me, Kid. Oh, is he? Pleasure to meet you. Oh, you good to meet you. Liam. Royley. Liam, okay. Oh, yeah. So I got my feet wet around these parts and figuring out what the what's the who and who's the what, you know, kind of thing. Oh, okay, okay. You just you just arrived at the crossing. Why well, not too recently, you know? Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Red Line. How's it going? Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing all right. Anything I can get for you? Ain't nobody playing the poker game. No, ain't nobody been in tonight for poker. Oh, dang. No, they've been in and out, getting a drink and some stew and hitting the door. Well, I got four dollars. What can I get for that? Well, four dollars gets you two whiskeys. <laughs> well, a bottle of stew and a whiskey. Yeah, they are. It's, uh -huh. expensive whiskey. it's, lamb, it's lamb. Oh, I was talking about the stew. It's two fifty. So you can get. Hey there. Get you a bottle of stew. Howdy. I'll see you later, kid. Oh, it's all right. All right. I already ate. All right, take it easy. So you just thirsty, bud? Yeah. All right. Let me look here. I can get you the bottom shell. Okay. Your regular whiskey, two dollars. Uh, Tennessee whiskey gonna be three. That's Scotch expensive. whiskey is gonna be expensive. That's almost all my money. What about a beer? <laughs> also two dollars. Yes, sir. Two dollars for a beer? <laughs> yeah, that's what they charge here. Well, you have a good one, kid. Take it what easy about, now. What about water? <laughs> <laughs> People be running around like crazy.
I do believe on our horse we have water, but... Oh my god, that's gonna be so weird if everyone just is a walking back there just to do that. Splash water on their face. I have to see. It is, isn't it? She's walking up back there. Yeah, yeah. Go for a splash. nice designs on it too that mm -hmm. i love that i love the design on that do that <laughs> yeah it's it's very pretty um i have one that's actually also copper um and Maybe we'll take a gander down to Blackwater. Have a gander at Blackwater and Rhodes, maybe. Just see what's happening around.
Oh my god. So many coon hounds. So many coon hounds. Taking over. Seem to be too much happening. Something seems awfully sus. Is there like a horse or something stuck back here or a deer? Somebody just got smashed by a horse. There's something weird going on up here. <laughs> that deers are on the roof again. down the end of the street before we fuck off. We might head to Rhodes, see if there's anything happening in Rhodes Saloon. I like to be a bit of a butterfly when it's on, you know, these types of servers until you actually get to know some people. It's a good way to get to know people is to be a butterfly. At least if you're Roman solo. Because unfortunately. That honestly sounds like a horse is stuck somewhere it shouldn't be. Oh Jesus. 
I got smashed by that by not paying attention. Hey, got a little job for you. Hello, Dover Keys. Hello, hello. Hello, Zillo. How we doing? Well, we got some odds, some bad shit happening because it's now approaching night time. We're not doing too bad, Dover Keys. Not doing too bad at all. Kind of just roaming around, see what happens. about you? How are you doing? How's life and the things and such? Very nice. already. So fingers crossed they don't try and cut me off. Got him. Way back early I want you and I got no fucking boy to this today. I did see Triss has been doing all right with the breeding. She's got herself a few nice ostriches now. At least he's a rebuilding all right. I feel like they need to introduce something new to Aramore at the moment, like it's kind of stale for me at least. Like I I just don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> kind of like, well, we hunted Cyclops to death. We've destroyed Cyclops. And um <laughs> Well, I can go finding creatures, but then if I don't find creatures, I have nothing to breed. And if I don't have nothing to breed, then I've achieved absolutely nothing. Yeah. The caves are there, but we need people to do the caves. And without people, we can't do the caves. And that's the problem, because people don't want to be on. Uh, no one's on. Because, you know, there's just, yeah, it's difficult. If we had people, we could do it. <laughs> but because there's no people, there's no people. Because there's only, like, so many times I can do the same old, same old. And, like, I want to do the caves, but, yeah. It goes back to that thing. If no one's around and no one's active, then no one's around and no one's active. I would like I would love to do the bear cave again. I'd love to have a crack at the hydra. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Me too. It kind of seems like there's a bigger rift than ever after the seasons. Yeah, exactly. 
Because, like, when we were all part of, like, a one group, like, at least we knew people were online and then, you know, there's a possibility we could do something. But now, like, I, like, if I want to find um, you guys, then we have to either look at that island or try and find somewhere. And then there's the thing of trying to catch people at the right time as well, because, like, I know when Vakgar wakes up, you know, usually when JV gets about, and then I could go to his thing, but if I go, like, I have to wait until he's awake to go to his thing, and then sometimes I end up going off hunting and stuff, and then by the time I've thought to check in at Vakgar's, I know that he's off somewhere else because I've gone and checked and I've said hello and there's no one answering at the door. And, yeah. It's the same for everyone because we all kind of get out and just try and do something, and then, like, nobody's around, nobody's home to try and get them to do something. Because I don't like sitting around for too long is my problem like if i sit stationary and stagnant i get bored so i don't like staying like at the home for too long i like to go out and adventure because otherwise i just get like the itch for it like i i don't know how else to explain it but even though it's just sitting still in game i can't do it <laughs> Because either I'm going to get the itch to go and do something, or I'm going to start checking other things other than being in-game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. And, like, I understand that some people were getting a little bit, you know... Blair because nobody's on but it's like you can't blame people for not being on because like being burnt out is just one of those things that happens like if nobody's feeling like doing shit then it's just what it is that's why like I decided to see if I could get a group together for Phasmo last night do a little bit of the Phasmophobia I think me, JV and Doily had fun with it for a bit at least and people probably had fun watching us uh, be idiots and get murdered by the ghosts. How's Wild RP going? It's not going too bad. We've uh, found Valentine to be an active saloon at the moment. I liked watching you all die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See? A little bit of the skating fraud. Schadenfreude. Was it Schadenfreude? Either way, it's uh, enjoyment in somebody else's misery. <laughs> Getting out and watching us get fucking murdered. Schadenfreude. Pretty sure that's how it's said. I can't believe how many times I got nailed first. Like, it, the ghosts just decided, you know what? Fuck him. Boom. Have you ever played it in VR? No. I've never played a VR headset. I don't really... I don't think I find the appeal of it. I feel like that's putting something on my head that's probably going to give me motion sickness. It's just not going to, like, feel right. It's going to be weird. Ten times worse, yeah. I don't doubt it, but yeah, I, I just don't think I can... Because of my, like, the way it takes away your spatial awareness, like, that's gonna fuck with me so much. Because, like, it, I'm the type of person, you close my eyes, I'm probably gonna, like, you know, fall off, you know, my feet onto my ass just by, you know, trying to walk with my eyes closed. But 
I also can't play for very long because it starts to give me... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> you have a screen too close to your eyeballs. It's not... It's not good for the eyeballs. Boy. It was so funny watching uh, Stealthy Platypus play the forest in VR. His character and the way his hands and things moved. And it was so creepy the way he held like skulls and things at us and whatnot. It gives it a lot to the creepy factor. But yeah, we're kind of roaming around in wild. Uh, so far, not finding a hell of a lot happening. Valentine has been the most active town to really try and find something. It's interesting, that's for sure, yeah. Watching you fucking, you know, cannibals fly up into your face. There are horses fucking littered everywhere. A couple of horses here. Let's check out Doyle's. Can't wait for the Forest 2, yeah. The Forest 2 and Arc 2. I think Arc 2 is going to be really good. At least if, um, if they improve the character creator and things like that. Because then, you know, when people get to making them so that they can be roleplay servers, Arc 2 would be fucking phenomenal. Like, allow for face adjustments and things like that, and it would start really, you know, sh showing some... S something. Coming out this month? Yeah. I've heard word about that. Um, should be interesting. There's a lot of horses here. There is a lot of horses here. Jesus. Get on my damn nerves. How you doing, sir? Oh, yeah, how's it going? You doing all right? Can I get you something to drink? Yeah, hey, doing fine, doing fine. What you want? Well, you just an Irish whiskey. All right. We well, thought the place was packed. Looking at all the horses out there. Yeah, there was a lot of people earlier. What was they? I didn't. This some folk. They don't know. Let's get out of. That's a dollar. Oop. Thank you. Why is that other? That's a poison, because you know everywhere else is charging like two. Right. Y'all didn't happen to see a boy going around. He climbed on rooftop, bald headed as all hell. He wears um a raggedy green poncho that's not really even a poncho. It's more just a uh, some some sort of tattered rags over his shoulder. Well, Never I've seen him. Can I say that I have? All right. 
He was supposed to come down here and talk to me. But how long ago was this? I was, this was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. I was just down the street. He was right over there by the market. He's on the rooftop. And I'm talking to him. I said, come on down. And before that, you know that little uh, the alleyway behind the telegram station? Oh, uh, yes, yes. Right. So I had seen him down that way. I walked down the street. He, he cut to the right. And I walk over there. And I go into the alleyway. I said, Lou, where you at? I hear from the rooftop. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, Lou's up here. Lou's up here. This is actually I something told him I've role played with before. I, I took the bullets out of my gun and all. I said, you safe. Come on down. And he won't come down. He used to play as Cleman. Oh. Um, but I know he coming through this motherfucking stealing. In WWE. How oh, crazy. Hey. He's got to. Leaving a mess behind, too. Well, if he's I, attacking see, people, also, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. And he don't realize it. I told him, I said, you put hands on Betty, you can't do that. He said, oh, no, I didn't mean to. Bullshit. Oh. Hmm. And now he's just going around. Law looking for him, too. So I have to keep an eye on the rooftops. <laughs> if, you, if you see that boy come close to you, you just walk, walk the other way. And fast. <laughs> they ain't no talking to him. Well, if he follows me, then he's going to be in a world of hurt. Today is I'm, not the I'm, day with, to mess with me. Right. There you go. I don't know. I don't know. What, what's your name? And, and miss, what, what is your name? Lily. Lily. All right. Yes. Name's Pearly. It's nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. And you too? Oh, I'm Jonathan. Jonathan. Oi. Did you say your name was Pearly, did you? Yeah, yeah, that's my name. Oi, good to meet you. Liam Royley. You said Liam? Oi, Liam. All right. And Jonathan. That's right. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, say, Jonathan, you're not from Tall Trees, is you? <laughs> uh, no, not really. Uh, mostly out west. Out west? All right. Now, somebody was earlier were looking for, uh, for Jonathan from, from Tall Trees. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, no, that doesn't sound like me at all. All right. <laughs> Did he say he was an idiot or anything like that? No, no, no. Yeah, probably not me. <laughs> oh, you, you, you find yourself an idiot? Oh, I get called names all the time, you know. Mm. Yeah, well, that's the people and they bad manners. Yeah, that's for sure. There's bad manners all over the place, especially today. Yeah, what was you talking about? People playing poker? You talking about at the uh, the Bastion, the big saloon? Oh yes, the, I mean the Valentine. Anywhere I go, there's people playing poker, and mm -hmm. That's what they people they do. don't want to talk to you unless you've got cards in your hands and you're throwing money on the table. Mm -hmm. And you don't play. I don't play well, and I don't have enough money to not play well. So right. Hmm. I can't like me. afford that luxury. <laughs> Might as well just hand them the money and save yourself exactly. some time. Right. Yeah, they got uh they got these big games going down at the Bastion lately. Every week. I think the 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 ones that's going over there right now is not that high stakes. But once a week they got a game where people put down a thousand dollars and whoever wins walks out with five thousand or six thousand. Six thousand, I heard about that. That was uh who won that last week? I think it was, mm. was it Tommy? Probably was Tommy. I think he it was Tommy. Too. Yeah, Tommy Two Snakes. Yep, he was. Uh, he's always in Valentine playing people, and he's always got a pile of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he know how to play poker. That's for damn sure. I know how to play. It's just I can't play well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard them thousand dollar games. They keep on going and going and going. Five six hours. Easy. Yeah, I think that's what he said. It was about five hours. For it's way too game. long. It's way too long. Well, I mean, you know, unless everyone's putting all their cards on the table and putting all the money up right away, then you know it's gonna fucking go for a while. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you know, it might be it. a twenty dollar game, it might be like a hundred dollar game, it might be two fifty, and then you know, if you got a thousand, you still got a fair ways to go. Yeah, but see, look at it. It was a thousand dollar game, but I heard it was playing it like it's a twenty dollar game. You know, oh, you see. Been putting down boosts, a little, little, little couple of chips here and there. Oh, exactly. So everyone has like a thousand, you know, chips there, sort of thing. You know, a thousand dollars worth of chips, but you know they can only just mm -hmm. throw like a couple of dollars here and there. I'm, I'm assuming and I'm hoping 
that once they do it a few times, they're going to come up with some rules that the game won't last for half a day. Now maybe at maximum, maybe two hours. And two hours is fine. But six or that, eight? No. Because you know, folks exactly. are getting tired. Because they, they got to have security because all that money on the table. And now the security just going around, you know, they, they wait around for six, eight hours. They wait too long. How you going to pay them? Exactly. Yeah, they should put a they should put a limit on that of time or betting or something. Yeah. Yeah, but they probably make a killing in like the drinks and the oh, snacks. Yeah. Absolutely. The... Absolutely. Mm-hmm. This motherfucker Lou get on my nerves. <laughs> Oh, is this the kid you're talking about or what? Like runs around with a green cloud around his back or something? Yep, that's the one. Oh, yeah. He said he's not violent, but I know he is. They're always violent. Yeah. They don't think they are. Especially the idiots who want to shoot at somebody's hat. Because it's okay to break windows by shooting You had the somebody hat. try to shoot your hat? <sighs> no, there was... I cook for some fellas, and they all thought it would be fun to try to shoot. He wears this very tall hat, uh -huh. and and the fun was to shoot at his hat while breaking the windows. And uh, there were horses outside too, but they didn't care because they were having fun. Right. Mm -hmm. What was it, Valentine? Oh uh, no, that's just a, a camp that we were we are at. Oh, a camp. Mm hmm. Sounds about right. Mm hmm. Get away from uh, society and everyone starts acting feral. Feral little children. Mm, that's what people do. Excuse mm. me, I need to check outside. Out back. One moment. All right. So you, uh, you said your name's Lily? Yes. Uh, what kind of business are you? Yeah. Uh, woo. Uh, not really into any business. Lose I on just a cut. Uh, offered to cook for some fellas. Because uh, I haven't been able to cook for a while, so <laughs> that's all. I haven't figured out what I really want to do. Well, it's probably like most of us. You never end up doing what you want to do. Well, I've done a lot of what I want to do. It's, uh, I've stopped. <laughs> Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah, well, um, yes. Um, it's nice not doing anything and kind of meeting people. I don't people. know, right? Getting around. Everybody's always so busy because they're always looking for someone or they have to have this private conversation with them right away or they're a bunch of children who can't keep their attention and don't know how to have a conversation. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's, uh, mm -hmm. that's pretty much everywhere you go, especially uh, out no. here. Oh, yeah, I was noticing a bit of that myself. There's just people kind of running around and they go, oh, I was looking for so-and-so. And they fuck off. They don't even, like, you know, say hello. Have exactly. a conversation for a moment. Like, you know, jeez. I actually had that same uh, thing happen to me about an hour ago. And I tried to get more information, you know, talk. And they, they just wanted to go. Sorry. Sorry that I actually wanted to... Have say more than yes and no. Oh, exactly. Everybody's looking for something. Uh... Oh, yeah, but sometimes you gotta slow down and fucking sniff the flowers or something. Like you know, you don't have to fucking speed around everywhere. Like you know, you got a horse fly at your ass. Yeah, well, well that's what everybody does. <laughs> Not me. I pretty much kind of just do my own thing. Take it as it goes. Right. That's a good way to be. Oh, exactly. It's raining hard out there. Yeah, well, you and Lamar now. Come on now. <laughs> I know. Oh, you so pearly, was it? Yeah. 
Or you run this saloon for longer, like, you know, is it a regular thing? Like, you know, is this where we can find you usually? Yeah, it is where I'm at most of the time. No way, eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is a, it's a Julius Bradshaw joint. I just work here. Mr. Bradshaw, you already uh, done for the day. No way, eh? You lived there all your life, or like you know, have you travelled around? What's your story? Oh no, I'm from I'm from down there. What I don't say? travel much. What about everyone else? Like you lived around the cross on a long time, or like did you come here from somewhere else? Go ahead. Oh, you know me. Yes. Oi, go for it. Oh yeah, well. I, uh, yeah, I'm from out west, so uh, I come from a long line of uh, outlaws, and uh, well, big family growing up. We started an outlaw band, and that went pretty good for a while, and then we got outlawed from all the saloons because everyone that came to the show would shoot up the place and cause a ruckus, and so that kind of that kind of well went to shit, and most of them are in jail or dead. So I've been mostly going around saloon to saloon and, you know, deliver booze or whatever, bar back once in a while. Yeah, you don't do no more saloon shooting, do you? <laughs> oh, no, I, I was a singer for the band. Oh, right. It was the fans that did that kind of shit. I don't even care. Oh, I see. It was an actual band. Oh, I thought it was, was a band, know, a band, 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 band of bandits. Yay. Yeah, not an, no, it was an outlaw band. Yeah. All right. Uh, called Meta Marauders. You probably never heard it. It was pretty underground, nope. deep, right? Underground. I mean, shit. If you're trying to sing, there's some folk that's looking for singers. <laughs> they got. Oh uh, no. Is the, is that not what you're trying to do? No, nah, not anymore. My manager got eaten by wolves uh, <laughs> some time ago. My manager for what? For the band. He was trying to get me back into some stuff, and uh, we went on a, a booze uh, wagon cruise, and we're delivering booze, and he got off the wagon and got eaten by wolves for some reason, and he didn't make yeah, it. Sounds about right. Happens a lot. That's oh, why I don't go out there. That's why I don't leave no more goddamn wolves and shit, bears and shit. <laughs> Bruh. The worst thing we got down south is the goddamn panthers down in the bayou, but that's about it. If you know how to move around them, you know how to move around. Oh, everybody's all so scared of the gators, too. Oh, the gators ain't shit. <laughs> I know that. I told them. It's the horses. Uh, if you don't know how to control your horse, you might end up... Uh, no, see, you know what the problem the is there. If you stay your ass on the road, you don't run into no gator. The gator don't get on the road most of the time. Sometimes they do, but most of the time they don't. <laughs> If you just shoot away, they don't want to deal with anything. They'll just go away. Absolutely. Let a shot out, they're fine. <laughs> now everybody makes such a big stink about the gators. I don't want to go there because the gators. Mm. Well, then don't go up and hug one. Yeah, but see, that, that the problem with folk is they want to get off the road and then they want to, you know, cut across, right? Or right. they want to sleep in a bush. Or that, yeah, being goddamn foolish. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Worst uh, thing we got uh, in the city is a goddamn motherfucker by the name of Lou. <laughs> Boy, that's some mad folk out there. He really get on my nerves. God damn, he get on my nerves. Dealing with that boy for three days now. Three days. Three days. <laughs> Maybe this I should stick around and him. I'll catch up with him and smack some sense into him. Yeah. <sighs> Hiding on the rooftop. I will climb up there and yank him down. I mean, looking at the hills yeah, on those boats, I reckon you could crush his peanuts. <laughs> mm, I, don't, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. No. It doesn't there. sound good at all. I mean, I did. <laughs> There's a theme going on because today I already threatened that I would castrate someone and turn it into sausage. They continue you know with their behavior. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> I, that's how mad I was. Grown adults acting like they were. All right, so what's your story then? 
my story, well, I was born and raised here. I left when I was young and I'm recently back after many moons. <clears throat> oh, is that it? Yeah. Traveled, traveled a lot, saw a lot, did a lot. And um, yep, found myself uh, homeless, penniless, and uh, decided to come back home. You buy the money, right? Hey. Hmm? Excuse me? I said, are you finding money? You find oh, work? I found ways to make money. In fact, uh, I think I got a. I might have uh, a way to make some good money selling food to uh, chefs. Yeah, but they pay out the ass for anything. They come through here, I charge ten dollars a bottle. They pay that shit without a thought. Hmm. Well, there's a woman that uh, she's been she's been coming by and having some of my food, and she said that uh, I would do well selling to sheriffs, just taking my stuff over there. So I might start doing that. Mm hmm. Wait, wait, where are you doing this selling at? In the city or somewhere else? Oh, I'm not selling. I was just like I said, I was making food for some friends. Oh, I see. I got a chance to cook, and you know. He invited me to hang out with them and I decided to just relax and start cooking and now I'm feeding everybody. But there you go. It's there good. I go. Mm -hmm. Say, um, yep, y'all good on everything? Y'all you're not hungry, nobody thirsty. No, I'm good. Yeah, you gotta take a break, take a break, man. Nah, I'm about I'm about to take a long break. I'm about to go check my telegrams, go home. <laughs> No, it's all good. No, I say. Yeah, I need good. anything is uh self serve. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for attending to mm. us when you uh, all right. could. We'll look out for Lou. If if nice meet Lou you. come through here, nice meet you too. If Lou come through here, hmm. Just, uh, yeah, I don't know. Don't, don't slap him upside up. the head. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> what about you? What's your story? Well, I was born and raised in Longford, Ireland, and then, you know, from there, kind of traveled around a little bit and found some work on the boats, and from there, you know, worked on a few docks here and there and such, you know, unloading and uh, reloading boats and things, and then, you know, found my way over here, so I did, you know, I'd fucking have a look around instead. You know, once you get some things started out and paperwork and everything, you just, you know, have a look around, see what else is out there, because I wanted to get away from my, you know, where I grew up and see, you know, the sights and take in life. And and what? Uh, <laughs> how do you like it so far? I mean, it's not too bad around these parts, but you know, it's kind of hard to find a good saloon that you know is running and people are actually, you know, uh, very talkative or something. Not just you know, as the lady said, they want to either play poker or they want to fuck off. Right. Uh, I mean, there's. <laughs> There are some people in Valentine, but I'm just sick of that town. It is just a giant shithole. Oh, exactly. Yeah. That's a classic frontier town. It's usually uh, more like a like a turnstile type of door. You know, people just come and go. Oh, exactly. That's what I was saying. I told the fellow, like, you know, looks like the door's getting more work than anything around there. <laughs> just watching the door go back and forth. People oh, go uh... in, people come out. They go in and you try to have a conversation and they see something outside that's bright and shiny and they just run. Oh, exactly. Oh. Or they go, you know, oh, oh, you came in here, I was just looking for somebody. And then they go, all right. Yep, that is, yeah, that's yeah, exactly. I thought, this, I thought this guy was scared of something. He walked into the bar and, you know, I guess people he was looking for wasn't there and he ran, like... Oh, exactly. The road. You see him darting around like, you know, they might have a fucking shotgun coming after him or something, but you don't fucking know because they just like darting everywhere. Right. There's certain types or like times of day that uh, the awesome saloons that are very popular. Blackwater for a while was, uh, I think, in the evening, late evening. Uh,. I don't know. There, there was a, there was people there. Oh, is he? I used to like Blackwater. I'd go there and and deliver booze uh, from out west, and uh, 
but it started, you know, it's it's an up and coming town, and they're starting to get a little hoity toity from from my liking. You talk about hoity toity, and you're here saying to me. <laughs> well, you notice I'm not in that other fancy bar. I'm in, you know, this this one. This is more my, right. you know, kind of oh, exactly. Every time I've level. gone over there, every time I've gone over there, though, there's not been any but attending bar. So, I mean, this feels like a taste of home to me. Yeah, this is like my speed, but it, yeah, it's this is kind of like hoity toity for my kind of, <laughs> you know. They got streets and a city and all kinds of people, but you know, <laughs> good money. No, exactly. I mean, at least I don't have cow shit coming in right through the fucking, you know, room and the floors and everything from the outside. Right. Yeah, or, or plague. And dust coming through the window. I right. kind of like taking a break from out west. Well, I mean, it's I just look at the hard. Valentine, you know, floorboards and such, and I'm like, holy fuck, like, you know, I don't know if you could ever fix the floorboards there. Like, you know, you get, even if you fucking sanded them back and they, you know, they're just going to turn them back like that in the moment anyway. It's a horrible place. So, any plans for uh, for the day? Uh, I don't have any plans. I've had a lovely full day of shenanigans that uh, <laughs> I w I want the day to end soon. What is it? For me personally, uh, I'm just like searching around the bar to at least get to know some people and such. You know. Oh, yes, I'm the you know, unfortunate one that's one of those different types of folks. I don't fucking run in out the door and, like, you know, look for poker. I'm just looking to get some conversations. Right. No, it's it's difficult. I, I understand. Oh, well, exactly. Yeah. I usually do uh, stick around and, you know, because I'm always looking for work for with the bars and stuff like that, so... I mean, I that's don't mind the right there, but, you know, you got to find the right bar for you sort of thing, because you got to know, like, a, a right, well, are they awake at the same hours I'm awake, or, like, are we sleeping at different times? Because, you know, there's one thing to, like, work for a saloon, but if you never see the boss, then you never get paid. Right. Yeah. I, I kind of like it on the road, you know. I, uh, I deliver, ride my wagon, and show up to a place, drink until I'm stumbling out the door and getting on my wagon. No, oh, exactly. And repeat. Not a bad way to go. Sometimes it turns into a three-day stay, and, you know, being off the road for three days ain't too bad either. Oh, yeah, that's true. As long as you find somewhere nice to be off the road. You just pass on through here? Oh, I think he went through the front door around the back door. I guess another one of them uh, passerbys, huh? <laughs> I guess so. Uh, sometimes in a city like this, though, you don't want to... You don't always want to talk to everybody because they they got something they want to, some angle they're trying to work or, you know, some trying to, some kind of scam or something. Well, you gotta keep your wits about you. Sure enough, wherever there's money, there's people ready to take it. That's why you don't have any money and you don't have to worry about that. And you figured out my secret. <laughs> well, exactly. I spent all my money on dresses. And horses. Well, I just I gave some chump change in my pockets and that's it. I'm divorced. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, divorced four times. I think that's a record. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Boy, that's probably maybe like that, or it's going to be a little bit more. At least they didn't maybe. die. No, they just took all of my stuff. 
<laughs> which wasn't much by the time the divorce was Well, you four times done. over. Oh, boy. Oi, how's it going? Hi. Howdy. Oh, no, he uh, went to bed. Yes. He said he was going to go check his telegrams and then go to bed, so I don't know. That was, what, like, five minutes ago? So, yeah. Pardon? Oh, thank you very much. What's your name? Roger. You said Eddie? You're, you're kind of quiet. Uh, my name is Jonathan. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, Eddie. Jonathan, nice to meet you. I'm Lily. Hi, Lily. Lily. Liam. Hey, Liam. Oh, good to meet you, lad. Early saying about that fucking roof dwelling guy, Lou, before. Yeah, we. I was wondering if, that, if you were him, but you didn't have no. the green thing on you. Oh, no, I just, I just, see him. <laughs> I just chased him. I just now? Yeah, yeah, I was coming back to help Early. Fucking seen him. Next to the fucking uh, deputy fucking police station, mm. I was showing these guys, uh, these busking guys, these musician guys, the theater. I come out and there he is fucking standing there. So I fucking chase him. Man, the fucking deputies ask me why I'm chasing someone down a fucking road. <laughs> fucking don't like them, man. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe you just tell him, you know, if you were doing your fucking job, you'd be chasing him down the road, not me. Exactly. They do like to uh, punish people for uh, trying to do the right thing. You end up getting in trouble. Oh, yeah. It's one of those ironic sort of things, you know, you, you know, you have a problem, and you, you, know, you go sort it because, you know, they're not sorting it, and then, you know, they're like, oh, well, you, you shouldn't have done that. That's our job. It's like, well, fucking do your job. Then we wouldn't have a fucking problem. I said I was saying, what the fuck, like, what, like, I'm just chasing after him, <laughs> I want to talk to him. And he's like, uh, just talking, and I'm like, well, what, what you fucking think I'm going to have fucking nothing on me? They act like parents more than law. <laughs> they scold people for the behavior. Oh, yeah. That sounds fucking funny business. to me. Why don't you just, they, they, they just get too much into your business telling you what you should and shouldn't be doing. Too many rules. Up. A couple of my friends want to become them. I'm thinking, fuck, what the fuck's wrong with you? Didn't pay me enough fucking money in the world to be a fucking pig. Hmm. Now I keep hearing noises and I'm. Is that here? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all I hear is like a clock sticking and touch and a little fucking buzz of the light sometimes. Yeah, can you hear the, the fucking uh, insects in there? Still gonna keep an eye out for him. Anytime I hear something, I'm looking outside. No way. I, don't know, I don't know if he's gonna come back around here if he thinks the party is still here. Oh, he just, he should have break when he fucking sees Pearly or something. Yeah, it's just, I, I don't know what the fuck the, the thing or the problem is. I was just coming down the road and seeing them talking. And I said, what the fuck's this guy doing on the roof? Because I'm trying to get him down. <laughs> Oi. So I made Pearly say to him that he wasn't going to hurt him and that he'd come down. So then he started to come down and then he just fucked off. But he was telling us about that. Yep, and then we went up looking for him for fucking ages. And then I just seen him before and I chased him. Hmm. Now the fucking deputies are telling me to fucking stop chasing people. Fuck me, man. <laughs> well, then they should go chase him and make him stop doing stupid shit. I know, they were like, oh, you... I mean, there's yeah. half a dozen people around the fucking state that chase people. Like, they're, you know, they're fucking running in and out bursts, as I said earlier, you know, <laughs> fucking looking for somebody. You know, you can't tell everyone that, you know, all right, well, you know, you can't go chasing out of your friends, you can't go chasing anybody. 
You stop that right there. No chasing people. I said, if I fucking want to run, I can run them. Told you the pants. No, this is a walking only site. You better walk there. Oh, there was a there was a, a deer on top of a roof. So uh, my friend went <laughs> up there to see <laughs> how he got up there. I love stirring the pot sometimes. <laughs> There was about four lawmen that ran over there and said, no, don't get up on that roof. Get down right now. It's like, what? Are you Jesus. his mother and father? What, what do you care if he's up on the roof? It's like there's fucking wildlife up there that's going to fucking snap its neck or something if it comes flying down the wrong way. You might as well get it out of its fucking misery rather than have it lying on, you know, on the ground bleeding exactly. out. Exactly. But they were more concerned that he was on the roof and he needed to get down right now. Try and find the fucker that put it up there in the first place. Exactly. Oh, exactly. I mean, someone laid it up there in the first place, so, you know, someone's got to get it fucking down. That's right. <laughs> I don't understand some of these law people. They just want to boss everyone around. Oh, well, pretty well, much. That's kind of the job, on not well, I mean, they get that little bit of a, you know, tin on the fucking chest, and they're like, all oh, right, now my head is ten times fucking bigger. Yeah, protect us from the bad people. Quit yelling at us for little tiny things that mean nothing. I it's know. not like I shot somebody. I walked across the street and, uh, you know, accidentally bumped into someone, and you're yelling at me to be careful. Quit attacking people. That didn't happen. Oi. That's how extreme they get with <laughs> bossing people around. I mean, to be yeah. fair, like, not everyone gets into the job for the right reasons, as you said, protecting people. Some people just want to have a bigger fucking stick to smack people with. Well, that's almost all of them. <laughs> well, you'll see, there's the point. Yes. So who are the yes. bad people? <laughs> not us. I ain't listening to them. I'll make food for them and I'll take their money. <laughs> oh, exactly. Why, where do you work, Lily? You work here? Hmm? Do you make food for a living? Is that what you do? Well, I I know how to cook. Uh, I just, I enjoy it. But I just uh, started cooking for some friends. And uh, they made friends with a, a law woman. And she told me that I would make a lot of money selling to sheriffs. Because they don't have time to cook or, you know, properly eat, so. Because they don't I, have any basic life skills. I heard a lot of money and food, and I said yes. <laughs> so I might be doing that. All right. We'll see. Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't. Fucking those flies are getting worse in here. Not they got here. a dead body out the back or something. What do you think so? Why are they fucking, fucking buzzing around? I don't know. You think he would have fucking cleaned the place before he went to bed? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody walked back there. Maybe they died back there. Oh, hey. Well, that's a possibility. Probably. Shit. Well, they might have shit their breeches before they come fucking riding through and just, you know, decided they'd plunk down on the back out there. Uh, there's a couple of fucking suspicious looking gentlemen <laughs> at the back. How do you skip that. bog? <laughs> We're not doing too bad. We're right, having a bit well, of luck there. I'm going to head off because these two uh, fancy fucking musician guys, they've got a fucking boat and they're going back to Blackwater. I'm going to get my left in it. Why are they? All right. Good logo. What's your name again? Mm. Eddie. Oh, we gotta meet you, Eddie. Eddie Doyle, actually, funnily. This bar's fucking Doyle's bar, one of some fucking real devil mind, probably. Oi. Well, that's something. I mean, you know, coming in off right. last name, sometimes people just end up making businesses and such, and then you go, ah, well, you know, we shared the same name, would you fucking look at that? I don't know, fucking strange odds. Oi. Alright, well, nice to meet the two of you. Um. This was nice lovely to meet meeting you. you. Maybe uh, if I come back, I'll see you again. Do you, do you come here often? I haven't spent much time in San Denis, to be honest. Oh, where do you mostly spend your time? Uh, I've been in Blackwater quite a bit. Uh, 
I'll do a bit of treasure hunting and yeah, we're doing uh, all right. mining and that sort of thing. I've been doing a lot more arrow more. Uh, kind of hang out about play. Peter uh, Rockwell. All right. Well, hopefully um, we run into one another again. Yeah, I'd like that. Yeah. Oi. All right. I'll take care of yourself, lad. All right. Thanks. Take care. See ya. Oi. <laughs> well, well, standing suppose... in one place uh, actually worked out. <laughs> oh, exactly. Doesn't mean too bad here. Yeah. Mm. It's all right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and check my telegrams. I think I might be heading to bed myself. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Well, you have a good one. Take care of yourself, love. Yes, you too. Hopefully, I run into you again. Oh, indeed. Be careful with the, <laughs> the rooftop blue. <laughs> well, if I see him, I'll give him a slap upside the head, but we'll see whether or not I end up in cuffs for that. Oh, you probably will. <laughs> There's every possibility. <laughs> now nah, we come at down bones. But yeah, we're doing all right, SK. Having a bit of a crack. Uh, I got burnt out with Red M for a little bit, so I went to doing some Aramore and some other games and some other stuff. And we're kind of getting back into the swing of things and see what happens with different servers and stuff. Bounce around a little bit. It is kind of, like, interesting here sometimes. Fuck, like, eh... <laughs> <laughs> My Irish voice is fucking bleeding in. Some toims. I was getting real fucking <laughs> Irish there for a bit. I oh, fucking bleeding the Irish colors there right there. That's just fucking full of it. See whether or not high society has anything happening in here. Other than poker. Looks like poker. But let's do. Doc, you're starting to squeak, you're playing so tight over there. Hey, boys, come on, ain't you here to gamble? I feel like it's just the three of us on this side playing a lot. <laughs> well, Clint, good man. I'm gonna lose the money over here, boss. I've been a little. Hmm. They have a really good, like, um, system. Like, the server's mechanically very sound, um, the economy's not in a bad place, it feels, like, kind of good to, like, play in some ways, like, um, the poker and stuff's really cool. Yeah, I know the feeling, I don't like the voice interviews. Uh, I don't like that they voice interview people when they have a player report either. I would rather, like, you know... I'd rather deal with a written report when it comes to that kind of stuff. As like, you know, kind of thing as those can be, like, you you know, you've been through the process. It's, you know, I'd rather take a written report <laughs> than a, uh, we need to have a chat. <laughs> those freak me out more as an introvert that doesn't, like, you know, I have a lot of social anxiety, like, I manage fine playing characters because it's a character, you know? But having to voice interact with somebody I don't know for a situation that I have no idea about is not cool. Not fun. Yeah. <laughs> 
that can be very stressful, but they do have, like, as I said, a lot of good features. I'm still not a fan of their revive mechanic here, where uh, if I get knocked the fuck out somewhere, uh, I lose everything. Like, unless I wait for a player to come and get me, I lose everything. But, you know, people have to kind of bounce around and, like, deal with the situations. Yeah. You'll find people talk about it in character and they, like, have little things about it. Like, you know, they'll say, um... Ah, uh, you know, the bloody, you know, local designers that take on me things. Well, I just got picked up by a stranger on the road or something. Like, he brought me into town, but, like, he took me fucking guns, he took me money, took everything. I guess it leaves them alive, but you know, it's a bit of a fucking rude thing to take everything from a man. And people will just talk about stuff like that. <laughs> I've already had the conversations on this character, it's like, okay. <laughs> so, but I think, like, you can leave stuff with your horse, you can leave stuff in the bank, you can still have stuff. You just have to make sure, like, you know, in situations where you might get randomly incapped, like... You probably don't want to have too much, like, valuable shit on you at once. Just in case. Like, if you're running around with a bunch of guns and stuff, and then you get fucking incapped on, like, a random hill that no one's ever going to find you, good luck. <laughs> it's a strange one, because I don't know any other servers that do things that, like, that do the revive mechanic that way. But I guess they figure, like, a person on the road would take their compensation. I don't know. But, for the most part, they have really good mechanics. Um, the poker plane is really good. Um, the server runs very smooth. I don't notice any, like, ghosting sort of issues. Um, culling doesn't seem to be a big deal. I don't really experience too many bugs, like, um, I think sometimes I've experienced the crashes and stuff, but that's, like, random stuff that I haven't experienced in a while, like, it was way back when I first, like, got in that, you know, I'd su suddenly, like, crash sometimes in Blackwater or something like that, and I think they've since sorted a lot of those issues out, they're probably one of the ones that are most on top of everything, as far as, like, having good features, good jobs, good work... Like, they have um, canoe boat rentals and things like that, which is a step above some servers uh, right now, like, you know, that haven't got to making it so you can actually access canoes. It's really cool to have things like that, have work, boat rental. So that's cool. I really dig that they have boat rentals and that. I, I have only, like, recently kind of just clicked to that, but... <laughs> I didn't click to that before, so that's something that I know that some people would love to be able to go canoeing and stuff again, because that was, a like, something we've really enjoyed in this particular game. Games and special items. They've got, as I said, poker. They have jobs. You can go and cut wood. You can learn about how to um, do, like, dirty work sort of thing. It all just depends. Yeah, every server does things differently. I feel for the most part, like, they have a really good environment. Like, the way things are here. Uh, like, it, it's a decent, like, way of things. Like, I like the poker and card games and stuff. I don't, like, in character, like, I kind of poke fun at it because, um... It is a difficult thing when everyone just wants to play poker and nobody wants to actually talk to people... It ends up like how Devil's Dice was. Devil's Dice could be very, um, exclusive 
you know, it, like it, it excluded people that didn't want to play the game because people were mainly focused on the game. Sounds like it's about to rain again. Alright, we'll head back up to Valentine and see if there's anything happening. We're kind of being a bar fly at the moment because I want this character to get a feel for what is happening around the crossing. I mean, to be fair, like, I know, like, or SK, you basically know what my Irish sort of characters usually end up like, so... There's a possibility that that's a down-the-road sort of thing, like, you know. But I kind of like to see what um, happens and how, like, the environment that the character's in, like, can mould them into, like, being certain ways. And so far... I'm very glad for the conversation we just had at that saloon because that revealed like a little something that would definitely go against Liam, you know. He's like, right, the fucking deputies, they want to think they're fucking people's parents or something, you know. Jesus. Oh, you can't do that. I'm sorry, man, like, you know, oh, you fucking can. <laughs> Boy, fucking tea and crumpets. That's what we were selling that day, SK. I just trying to get some fucking crumpets. Selling crumpets. And the bastards decided they didn't want our fucking crumpets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will definitely say good luck. Because, you know... Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait and see what happens. I do think, like, um, y'all would definitely be able to, like, bring some spark and, like, make some shit happen, but it all depends, like, how much, you know, is allowed. Because you gotta find that, you, you know, it's a different rule book to, like, each server has a different rule book. And Krim roleplay is definitely one of the harder ones to do right. Yeah. But I do think, like, as far as, like, if you guys are, you know, intending to stream and stuff, like, I know, um, Mold definitely, like, you know, it would be a good choice, you know, to take to this server, because this server is, like, you know, one of the ones that has the most activity as streams go, that people want to tune in and want to see what's happening in these servers. It definitely makes sense from a streamer perspective.
But yeah. I think, like, from way back in the day, like, you guys have definitely learned a lot and found, you know, probably your own pacing and things. Like, um, I know watching some of you at streams, you guys became, you know, like, you know, more business oriented and just, you know, kind of making different sort of moves so it wasn't, you know, as full on. And like New Dawn wasn't too bad. I enjoyed being able to role play with um Who was uh Mold's deputy character? I can't fucking remember for the life of me now. But it was good to be able to bounce around with him as a lawman and stuff again, or you know. Just bounce around. Have a chat and such. Lenny Lynch, that was it. Jesus, I was about to hitch up to the deputy post. <laughs> Out of fucking habit. That's Cass. Yeah, Lenny Lynch, that was it. Lenny? There was two Lennys. Because I remember, because uh, there was a uh, snow monkey that was the other Lenny. Lenny and Lenny. Doesn't look to be too much happening. Goddamn sticky doors. Alright, we're gonna go down to Blackwater, I guess. Because we didn't see anything happening. Well, like, we'd seen some activity in roads, but we didn't see anything much. But I'm thinking that we aren't gonna get much more for now because people are probably fucking off. But yeah, I, I'm wanting to play the certain element as well as K. I just don't want to like, I don't want to dive right into it. So that's why we're kind of getting a feel for things. Because like, I, 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 there's only one place I will probably ever play a lawman. And on the other side, like, I don't mind playing sieves. I don't mind playing crims, but I definitely want to get, you know, a feel for the water so that my character, like, has reasons for what he's doing. Like, he didn't just jump in and go, Hey, we're gonna rob people. I could have, you know, elaborate backstory as to being a bad person, but... For this particular character, we're just kind of letting things fly and see what happens. It's kind of like, um... How... What is it? Detroit become human, like, you know, those little elements that can, um, change characters, or, you know, there's just little things that happen in, like, butterfly effect type games, and I think I had a really good butterfly effect when it came to that, um, saloon, because that is something that I can run with. I love it. It's good when you can have little moments like that where you're like, ah, ha! Now that can definitely help shape the character. Like, he's already a character that's not going to give too much of a fuck if he gets a slap on the wrist for being a bad boy. But to know, like, they, you know, some people act like parents, that, that is good. <laughs> we can just be antagonistic, even that, like when we're not, like, involved in shit. Just be like, ah, you're fucking messing with somebody else again, are you? 
giving them a hard time just because they fucking climbed on a roof or something. What the fuck are you so doing? <laughs> it's gonna be a case that's gonna be like, fuck off, Liam. <laughs> But it all depends, like as I said. We do let roleplay mold the character so we see what happens. I really dig the look of this character though. I do think he is someone that you probably would have ran into back in them days. Like, we don't have the most cleanest outfit. It does have some wear and tear to it. And I like that. I know sometimes um, it makes sense for a character. Yeah. Yeah, like, um, I like the jeans and everything. The cap. It all makes sense. The jack, the coat. Um, if we take off the coat now that it's not raining... Like, I even like this shirt for him. Because, like, as I said, he was a dock worker sort of thing. He likes the suspenders and stuff. I do think, you know... He looks the part for somebody that you probably would have ran into um, in Red M or Red Dead. Hmm. He blends, yeah, very well. Like, yeah, I love it. But yeah, I originally had another character that I was going to run here um, many months ago, SK, but it, he just wasn't, like, working out. I just could not get him to sync up to something. I was at a point of sort of being burnt out as well, and yeah, it was not a good combination. Like, when you don't have the drive and you just can't get shit to sync up, you're just kind of like, eh. <laughs> I don't know if you were around then, but I had Charles. Charles Gamble. Now, Charles was definitely from a former gang. Uh, he was uh, definitely a uh, case where he was not going to get on with the uh, right side of the law. He grew up a particular way. He uh, was not friendly. Yeah. <laughs> nah. I only established that character as something very new and different after, like, um, I was taking a break from WWRP. He never was a character I played in WWRP. I did play David Hollow, which kind of has the same voice, but it's a little bit different. I tweaked it a little bit, so I made it more... Uh, it's a different cadence of the voice that I use for that. Hello there. I was just thinking about getting in a little bit of trouble, is all. That was more David Hollow. He had a different cadence. Where's Charles? Charles uh, can speak a little bit quicker. He 
he still has the raspy sort of voice as a bit of gravel. But Charles was uh, something different. I was really looking forward to seeing how Charles could unfold, but unfortunately it could never get anything to fucking happen. Jesus, we are shit out of luck, I think. That horse has been there forever. I think we are shit out of luck. Shit out of luck and jolly well fucked. Because I will say one thing that's very unfortunate here is there are no general telegrams. Like, um, there is no communique that I can go, ah, people are here. This is where I could find people. I do not know what to do. Gonna head back up to La Valentine. I'm gonna go from Valentine, like to drink that fancy wine. From Valentine, she likes to drink that fancy wine. Oh, you met a girl from Saint Denis, don't ask her how she skinned her knee. <laughs> I could see Liam singing a weird song like that, but <laughs> you've got to be very, you know, careful not to get too shady. No notice boards or anything like that. Not that I've seen. Uh, they do sometimes put like notices or things at telegram offices. But yeah. I don't think they have like a in game notice board thing. Go click here. Uh, in game screenshots. No, they don't have a Discord section for uh, in game, like, uh, notice board type thing. So there's not one in the Discord. I mean, we had a good little bar chat, I guess, with the, the folks uh, in the morn. We actually ran into Clem on, on his other character, which is fun. Come on, man. Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure it was Cleman. Yeah. Hmm. 
Alright, there's a couple of notice boards on this thing, so like maybe these are something. Let's see. We need your skills. Graveyard care taking maintenance, professional mourners, body transporters, delivery through grave pots. Nope. Just smack my microphone. Nope. Bogs, gator, and sausage stews. Gator sausage, uh, 12 for 6. Gator stew. Also can collect meats for cooking. Let me know what you need. And I'll let you know on a price. Read the Saints Crossing Church. With Association of the Crossing Church, just contact Jeremiah, blah, 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 blah. Members of Odd. Oddities and Deviancy Department. <laughs> Specialise in the handling of peculiar cases that occupy the crossing range from passing rumours to cold-blooded murders in our streets. At Odd, we provide the chance for our services to be hired for private cases that require a level of efficiency and discretion or negotiable. Negotiable under a payment plan with money back on successful, unsuccessful cases. We also prom promise a strict confidentiality between ourselves and our clients to protect your interests and identity for bookings and blah blah. Okay. Looking for work, gunfighter, even yeah, better seeking stability in a workplace. Yeah. One thing I do know is like a common bug here is people won't always um, be able to communicate with each other until like they've hit their microphone button like three times. So sometimes people aren't necessarily being rude when they don't speak to you, but they might not have hit their microphone enough times. <laughs> Please do it outside of this premise unless you want your horses to go shopping. <laughs> okay. That's random. The rebel moment we just fucking whistle anyway. <laughs> Alright, I'm not too sure. Maybe we see if Valentine has anything happening. Otherwise, I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you're doing all right, lad. Oh, 
voy a ayudar en eso. Fucking clouds are back. It's gonna rain again. Jesus. Running, running, and running, running, and running, running. <laughs> This is the problem, SK, when you, uh, you know, jump into a server by yourself. <laughs> Me and Grouch have this, uh, same common problem that we, uh, usually end up doing a lot of this. Just roaming around. Aimlessly. It is a lot of roaming around before we actually get into something. At least if you already have something figured out with a group, like, you've got something to do. Mm. Yeah, don't get me wrong, like, it's good for character development and stuff, because he gets around and he sees the sights, and... It does have its own meaning, it's just, yeah... takes a little bit to get into something. Because even Cassius, like, it took a little bit before I really got in with a few people. We've just got to find out where Liam's, like, you know, crew is. Where are the pieces of the puzzle fits for Liam? I think Liam has a lot more possibilities to fit in than Charles did. It's just a matter of figuring out who and where. Might stop in at the sea, uh, saloon for a minute. I do like the fact that they have a passive income. The passive income thing can be very nice, just for the fact that at least you don't have to worry about shit. Wild Mountain Horse Rescue run by Strawberry Livery Stables. We pay you to turn your horse when you no longer want it. Kill, release, or drop your horse off at the glue factory any longer at Wild Mountain Horse. Your old friend can be given a new home and second chance. Look into the Dr. Horse, stop by Wild Mountain. Full of horse profiles, also known as horse facts. Interesting. I suppose the notes are something that you'll give us like a little look in at shit anyway. Another way to sit at these chairs. There we go. I'll be right back.
<laughs> we ended up up that way instead. I really wish we could have got the oil fields off the ground, like as far as like being a workable place. Mag in the day. It's such an area that would be just good for some role play, but it really requires a server to actually give work that you can do in these places. like you could very much easily make it so that everyone kind of gets work in these kind of places I mean there's plenty of houses and things that people can say that they live in and tents do a little bit of work at the oil fields every now and then oh yeah I work down at the oil field Makes for a good RP backstory kind of thing. I mean, you can still say that you do, but, you know, you don't actually get, like, paid a decent amount. Where's it going? <clears throat> yeah, watch the sun hitch itself. crates here. Oh, Jesus. There's just some paper shit. I don't understand if that uh, thread was meant to mean anything. They are. I do not know. I 
think it's just the horse, right? If it was a player, they would probably come up to me or do something. If I can't find anything in roads, we're probably just gonna log off. At least we will have tried. Sophia. Get the almonds. How much money did you bring this time? Uh, hundred fifty. I hear you're pretty good at this. Hmm. 
da 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 No one has a go on. Hey man, I pretty are just talking while that guy behind us loses a lot of money. No one has a. Well, yeah. It's part of playing that game, you lose a lot. Why is he playing black jack or is he playing the uh, poker? Uh, no, he's doing black jack. No way, say. Mm hmm. No way, there can be a lot more luck to that type of game, I think. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do right now. Hmm. Well, good to meet you all anyway, so name's Liam. Liam! Alright. Oh, we met before in Magnolia. Oh, yeah, indeed we did. Back in the uh, Valentine Saloon. Yeah, how you been? Only not too bad getting around, you know, meeting a few people. Hmm. Yeah, Pearlie's a good lad in Saint Denis. Pearlie, I met him. Hmm. <laughs> you did? <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah. It's alright. Mm-hmm. It's a nice bar. I well, boy, like, like it. Were there quite a few people down there? to me, yeah. Oh, well, there's a few, but, uh, you know, I think they're just playing the poker in the um, Bastille. Uh, there's a lot of people in there, but, you know, Burley was down in the other one, the uh, Do oh, Doyles. Or is it just Doyles? Mm. And then we had a few people just hanging around there and just talking and such. He was telling me about some Lenny or there's something that was getting around on the roof with a grand cloak around his neck or something. Apparently, Lenny's been like picking voice with people or doing a weird show around the town, so Wait, hold on. he's just What's had to keep him away. Some Lenny or something, is it? I don't know. But there's a person getting around in a green cloak that just like picks voice with people, like he just walks up to him or something, and probably was just saying to keep your eyes out. What? Huh. <laughs> How are we doing, Ray? Hmm. That's kind of, that's. I was wandering around San Denis a lot by myself today. A green man. Oh, exactly. In, um, uh, wait, a man in a green cloak picking fights with people. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> that sounds I don't know, it seems uh, yeah, yeah, very strange, but you know, there's another fellow, a lad named name of Eddie, that said he seen him, and then, you know, the guy ran down the street, and then he chased after him, and then the deputies chased after him because he chased after the other fellow, so. And told him you can't be chasing people. <laughs> sounds like saying the near is a place for lunatics now. What the hell? Oh, yeah, sounds like it. Well, I thought it's more civilized over there. Oh, well, you think so, but you know, there's uh, so many different back alleys and things down there. Some of the lunatics probably feel right at home. You can dip and dart and disappear in no time. Jesus. So he sticks to alleyways, you say? I mean, I'm not too sure. He said he's seen him about the rooftops and such, but then the uh, Eddie said he's seen him outside the, um, what was it, the place? That, uh, it's like the musical things or the theatre or something. Yeah, okay. What's his... Howdy, Mick. It's Liam. Yep. I'm just it's saying he was Irish. <laughs> what is he? Do people know this man's name? The only thing I think I know is that it might be a Lenny, but I don't know. Lenny. Are you Liam, right? Oh, indeed. How's it going? Ah, it's going alright. Going... Yeah, it's one of them days, you know. <laughs> oh, is he? You? you got to be curious now. I want to see this thing. Oh, you I never know. Like... Barber, this uh, Mr. Liam here has been telling us about a man in a green cloak running around saying they are taking people. Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking for him. No, I say, there you go. looking for him. He knows about it. What the hell? Am I the only one who talked to him? <laughs> well, 
There are certainly reasons yep. for that. What, is the, what are the reasons? Well, you don't hang around the bar in St. Anina. No, I do not. <laughs> I have heard of it. Fair. Oh, yeah, well, Betty Butcher got beat up <gasps> and robbed by a fella named uh, Slimy, something like that. Slimy. Oh, well, there you go. Another nickname. She's so darling. Lou. Lou something. I think his last name is Skunt. Oh, that might have been it. Lou. Lou Skunt. Lou Skunt. Yeah. No, oh God. Maybe be Lou Skunt. Sanus too. I, I get what Sanus? they're saying. Have you all met him? No. Lou Sanus? No. No idea. No. At some point, it's just funny to me. I think. Uh, I think it just fucking clicked to me what that was. Was oh, my brain just uh, fucking clicked there? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, nah. Everybody's looking for this green guy. <laughs> well, is he like dangerous or something? Uh, according to everybody I'm talking to, he, he seems to uh, just vomit on people. Hmm. Uh, Sounds like a friendly individual. Yeah, he asks people, hey, have you seen Slime? And then they say no. No, and no. Yaks on. I know who it is. What I know fuck? what it is. It's a disgusting <laughs> thing. It's a weird Boy, it sounds like a fucking things. weird problem, you know. He it does. Just immediately shot. Yeah, I'm also curious about it's how a... has he not been shot yet? I think people uh, find him oddly amusing for a bit. And then he goes ahead and does something like this, and beat up Betty fucking Butcher. And then we got problems. Betty Butcher. I met her one time in the Pearly Saloon. Yeah. She works there. <laughs> Howdy, Mr. Mechanic. That's where she was robbed. Why would he rob her? What the hell? What did he take from her? I don't know. No, he didn't <laughs> rob her, I think. Uh, there's something about the game of her. Uh. He came <laughs> He got his food and then didn't touch his food at all and then smacked her over the head with a bowl or something. With a... What the fuck? Oh, God. That's I swear all I know. To, I swear to God, St. Denis is crazier by the minute. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd say so, yeah. You would what? I would say so. Yeah, you would... You would... You mean you would... Sasso... Ah! <laughs> yeah, I'll be outside for a bit. Let's see if I know you can walk outside now. Oh, yeah. indeed. I feel so bad because Betty's biggest fear was someone who's going to read her diary. Mm. And she has to deal with this. What's so. What, it's her fear to read her diary? Yeah. Well, well like, for someone else to read it. Does she keep it safe? Mm. Now she should. Ah. Probably writes a lot of personal things in it. Mm. Oh, yeah, well, you can know a person, you know, in a working boy reading what they fucking wrote about, you know, what they're feeling about things. Mm -hmm. I mean, just to go from that, though, to now having gotten beat up and everything. I don't have a diary. No. That's it. I will get one. <laughs> the hell kind of diary would you keep, Sasso? Sasso's diary. That type of diary. Sasso's day it was great today. Oh, well, you're quite all right, <laughs> lad. Oh, I'm fine. 
I guess that's just normal then. He's a walrus, so when what? he tries to move quickly, all the fatness, you know, keeps him down and he falls. I only have six toes oh, left, Sansa. Six toes left? What? How did you lose your toes? I thought you had seven. I may have seven toes left, Zazo. I haven't checked in a while. Can I look at your toes? No. You're right. No, no, you're right. You're right. We'll do it later. <laughs> but I will tell you, if one of them got shot off by a friend of mine. Uh, the other one I sacrificed for a friend, and then another friend of mine shot the other one off. The f what kind of friends do you keep? The first up? one. First one was, of course, a lawman. Ah. Wait, that means I only got six toes. Because I've been shot in the... I gotta oh. give me a moment. Let me count it. Hmm. I've never seen a man count his own toes. It's a barbar thing. Oi. All right, Daniel, how are we looking? Well, I doubled it, and I think I'm going to stop there, because if I don't, I'm just going to lose it again. <laughs> All right. Uh, have a good night. Yeah, See you later, too. Man. Nice playing with you again. I think I got 14 toes. 1, 2, 3, 14. I see 14. <laughs> Put your shoe back on, Barbar. Jesus. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I must have counted them double or something. Yeah, I got seven toes left, Sasso, and I made up one of them times I lost one. <laughs> Do you want one of my toes? No. <laughs> we can attach it to I'm you. quite fine. <laughs> you know, I'm good. Yeah, I saw how fine you are when you were running and fell flat on your face. Come on. It's just a balance thing, all right? I'm fine after the first few steps. It's just the first ones are kind of iffy. <laughs> right? I don't get me wrong. I can still knock the shit out of most anybody. All uh, right. I can see. <clears throat> Didn't happen. Uh-huh. Definitely a... not a problem. No. Why, why am I so tired? Why? What the fuck? Man? I don't know. I don't know. Well, yeah, I don't know why you're so tired. Maybe, maybe you've been working too hard. I've just been in the swamp like always. Or well, maybe not sleeping enough. Uh, maybe. Sham lam dam double. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think I called the fella that yesterday. You called him on that yesterday? I think so, because his name was like Cortisol or something. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Barbar, the Shamlam Nam Dubli is nothing to joke about, alright? No. What was it his name again, Magnoli? It is a tool of mass destruction. The fat English guy. Oh. Horatio Hudson. See? Shamlam Dubli. Uh, yeah. Exactly the same, yes. <laughs> I do believe I may have called him fucking Dubois. Yeah. <laughs> Something did. like that. I'm not quite sure what I did. He did hey, <laughs> fucking Dubois. It sure wasn't his name. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> and then I bought him a horse. Which it occurred to me, you slipped him the rest of the money, right? Yeah, I gave him 200, I think. I gave him 100, so I suppose you bought him a horse. Praise. Oh. Do it, do it. I want the first bullet. Good morning, sleepyhead. Are you shooting? Everybody. Oh. Preferably me first, come. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bernie. All right, one hand, Mister. If you if you beat me, I'm shooting you. <laughs> Bernie, Miss Devon was mean to me. 
Mm-hmm. She was mean to you? Yes. Why? She snuggled with me and uh, she she choked me. Kinky ladies these days, man, I swear to God, how inappropriate. I, I, I suppose she probably had her reasons. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Doesn't everybody? Sometimes. I gotta grab some water, I'll be right. Go for it. What the f- <laughs> That was I guess sometimes you just gotta go, like, really fast. Oh, yeah, it looks like it. Suck a big dick, asshole. I won blackjack. <laughs> Perfect. Do you make a lot of money or doing that shit? I never tried. No. Nah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, one more. All in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I win. <laughs> you better win. That's one eighty bucks. Bernie, I want to go to the swamp later and uh, get more uh, ingredients for alchemy. How you doing, Day and Magnolia? Doing alright. Hello. There's Yarrow not too far from here, too. Oh, where? Uh, across the railroad tracks, actually. Yarrow. I heard there's whiskey in that. Well, there's plenty of lore in town. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, about four Very or five valuable. of them. There was two down at the uh, telegram station, and three standing in front of the uh, in front of the sheriff station. Well, there was about two or three minutes ago. Interest. Bernie! Yeah, yeah. So, so. Is Kettleman still looking for you? No, I don't believe so anymore. I think uh, Billy cleared that up. Yeah, you uh, bloody hood asshole. How dare you? Yeah, I'm a bloody hood. Look out. Mm. Uh, <sighs> what's that weird mistake? I heard one of the bloody hoods died. Yeah. They always die. They keep having shooting with law. Mm-hmm. Psychopaths. So that sounds like where they went. Mm. Uh, when did he die? Like a couple of days ago when the rest of them were sent to prison. Oh, shit. No. Oh, no. They're in pieces, man. They're bad people, what? honestly. So what number know. was he? I don't know. Nobody knows. Uh, wait, who was it who told you? Wasn't it Pearly? Was it Pearly? Because I swear I was there. Yeah. I don't remember. I remember a number four, but I don't know if that's the right number. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm at one, two, and three. One, two, wait, and fuck, three. I'm at four. Who is he? No, he was number four. That's all I know. Four. 
Wait. I think so. Wasn't it Clem who told us? Oh, yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah. As in Clementine. Hmm. So she was in Sisica to that, uh, bank robbery. Yeah, she got sent off, but Peach is dead. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like Clem said it was, like, the new guy or something. I swear I heard that at some point. Wait, Rookie died? I don't know. That's the new guy. Yeah, yeah. There was, like, numbers, and then there was Rookie. Hmm. It was like, Mom, Dad, I, Jack, these are my friends. Two, three, and Rookie. <laughs> <laughs> Rookie, Jesus. Mm. I heard Data I went to Basisca though. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't but know you ran into them, them and really. they didn't rob you. Dead ass Jack. Yeah, no, nobody robs me, Sasa. I don't know that. Because from what I know, that's all they do. They rob and attack people. So if you ran into them, I figured they tried to go for you as well. They've always been nice so. to me. Yeah, and I, I have a group of people around me that, that do mean shit. And no splash. Uh, you're part of it. What's me? Yeah, you're part of my hit squad. Who are we killing? <laughs> See? Let's do it right that's, now. That's Let's do it right that. now. Hold him down, Mr. Barbell. I will cut his throat, man. All right? Let's do it, man. Who no, is no, no, no. The, the is dealer's this? not... The, no, there's nothing Dealer. wrong with him. He's just got... Cut his sleeves off. Cut his sleeves off. I would love to cut his sleeves off that little cheat. No, that's not what I said. Okay, if you're not doing it, I'm doing it. I don't have a knife, never mind. <laughs> I gave my knives to Devin. What a horrible idea. <laughs> I thought, she, I thought he, she'd like him. He gets it. It's dangerous it's to give her anything sharp. I had the same exact reaction. Yeah, she, she also said that was a bad idea. But I, I never listened to good advice. How's it, Liam? Oi. Liam? That was your name, right? Oi, yeah, that's my name. Yeah, yeah. Meet the old members of the Nameless. Oi, say. Nameless? Uh huh. That Barney doesn't Bowie, know about that. Sasokwashi. <laughs> and Devin Dunning. <laughs> I forgot her last name, right? It was Dunning, yeah. No, I say. There were others, but I think she's as surprised as you. <laughs> say what? Probably. Nothing, nothing. Please oh, don't yeah. me. Never mind. That I'm, su I'm surprised about what? That I remembered your name. Oh. You didn't even catch it, don't worry about it. But I know your full name. Yep. Devin D. Dunning. Well, I mean, I haven't been around these parts too long, so I'll take your word for it. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, this is way back, back, way back. <laughs> yeah. A place called New Alexandria. Oh, is he? Mm. Mm. I tell you what, these guys right here used to be the meanest motherfuckers you don't ever see. <laughs> don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Barber. I am a gentle little man. <laughs> I've never done anything. What about that robbery we took over? They call Ooh, me the angel. Oh they call me the angel, Bernie the Angel Bergen, because I'm such an angel. I wouldn't, I wouldn't harm a fly. <laughs> yeah, he never. Yeah, that's he is Bernie not the butcher the one. Bogan, by the way. He's never. Oh, he's yeah. definitely not the one that he has out. You better get out of here before I start. My my middle name is people. Tickle because that's what I like to do to people. I tickle them until they laugh. <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. Especially with that fucking voice. <laughs> Love, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you smiling? That feels all types of wrong. You better laugh right now. It doesn't it doesn't sound right coming from him, does it? No, it doesn't. No. <laughs> I think you gotta be. I think you gotta be Aussie and uh, and uh, yeah, good looking to to pull off a voice like this. Unfortunately, Wait, Billy, you, you are neither. Fucking hell! I'm <laughs> handsomest, handsomest few. There are a few handsome people, and I'm one of them. Better when you take off that mustache. Do you know what? Since There's... I know English isn't your first language, I'm gonna give you a free pass on that. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> I'm from Waco, motherfucking Texas. The first language is the American. America. America. Mm. Fuck but yeah. yeah. That is correct. Burn it down, amen. Burn it down. <laughs> I want food, but I don't know what I want to eat. Oh. By the way, Sasso, Bernie, and, and, and David. The 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 Higgins are around. Yeah, I heard. I, oh I, my God, I D and I, D and I were only just talking about them when we we're Butch mining Ted, today. At least strong. I mentioned them, didn't I, D? Yeah, you did. Crazy. There's a Butch was, Teddy strong oak. Was, he was hanging out with us for a while, and then he popped <laughs> over to the Higgins. Oh, uh, he was always Hagen's. Uh, you're talking about the doctor? Well, like, yeah, he, he was always Hagen's, but he was, like, riding with us for a while there. Yeah, Dr. Beckett. Yeah, that guy. Mm -hmm. I wonder what ever happened to him. Yeah, we found some people. Oh, he's still a doctor SK. back in New Alexandria, yeah. Yeah. Billy Barber and his crew, yeah. They said he didn't want to come over. Unfortunate. So, also... They changed the name from Hagen's because Corvus didn't want to come either. Really? So, was it, yeah, was so it now they're it now? the Diamondbacks. Jesus. Well, that's fucking lame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. What? The Diamondbacks? Yeah. That they call themselves the Diamondbacks? Yeah. May as well call themselves wow. the fucking squirrels. So or the chipmunks. Diamondback. Look at me. I'm diamondback. Don't disrespect my diamondbackness. A better name would be the ducklings. Cool. Yeah. Come on, man. The ducklings. I mean, like, at least being called <laughs> the ducklings was funny. <laughs> Oh, uh, being called a diamondback is funny too, but it, that's a different type of funny. <laughs> it's a dick joke, isn't it? Ducklings was good. I like being called a ducklings. You see, Liam, we called ourselves the nameless because we wanted the law to name us. And we told them that. Like, we robbed banks and stores and we yelled out, We're the nameless. Name us. Right? And then one day, of course, we were known as the Little Ducklings. Oh, I see. Yeah. Named by some... Playing kind of backfire. Yeah. Some <laughs> fucking French guy. Oh, it was the French guy that named us. Jean-Claude. Jean-Claude. You know, the funniest thing was when I first got to, to New Alexandria, I, I was I was walking around in... Uh, in, 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 in yeah. I was walking around, right? And this guy, he picks me up on his horse and takes me to uh to to go get a horse and then ends up giving me his horse and turns out it was that same french guy that we ended up having problems with for what was it three months after yeah it was incredibly awkward i, I don't know it was it was hilarious <laughs> well he sounds like a strange turn of event oh very very much oh, so was... everything to do with that guy was yeah he, they were very Remember that time they caught me? I was first ar arrested. They were like, "You, you can. If anybody can stop him, you can stop him." 
<laughs> they I don't think I ever told you that. They had me there in the in the in the back of the of the of the the, the little cement building thingy, and they kept being like, "Oh, if you, you talk to him, you can stop him." Should have told him, bitch. I'm the one in. On, I'm the I'm the devil on his shoulder, telling him to do bad shit. <laughs> Innocent, and was like, oh, you all were. I know. I, I hate these crimes that he's committing. They make me feel so, so wronged, and I feel uh, <laughs> I just I can't. <laughs> and you told that to every single llama that we robbed. <laughs> 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 yeah, we used to make a living robbing llama because we didn't. I, I didn't like the idea of robbing regular folks, right? <laughs> Oh, yes, eh? So, uh... Yeah, I, I, there's something wrong about robbing a working man in my pit. Taking the keys to the sheriff's stations and then, uh... Oh, my God. That was always a lot of fun. Oh, dude. Oh, oh yeah. God. I'll be right You haven't God. felt freedom before you... <laughs> Remember that time in Strawberry? Oh, 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 no. Where, where oh, I had God. my horse outside? <laughs> and they put me down in the cells. I whistled my horse over to the window and grabbed the keys from the cell bag and just walked out of the chair's office. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one was rough. Mm. <laughs> For them, I don't, yeah. I don't think you remember. Uh, so back when uh, Lucy and I were getting along, uh, we we went. Remember the one where we got you out that first first time? We were one where they had just oh, the two yeah. deputies there instead of having like mm -hmm. marshals or like you would think they want to put you away for a hundred years y you would think that they would have yeah. more than two deputies there no <laughs> no they didn't they did not no <laughs> they did not have more than two deputies and then they pres it wouldn't okay <laughs> it wouldn't have happened if they didn't let her go if they did not let her go with all of her weapons and everything, it wouldn't have happened. Literally, as soon as they let her go, we turned back around, grabbed a hostage, grabbed another hostage, took their horses, and went to the, the station. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that is, this is one good thing about being way too sweet. <laughs> Manipulatingly so. <laughs> God. She wasn't all that sweet, but she sure could pretend to. Oh, absolutely. Man, oh man. Now we had some good times in between the bad ones, too. I broke Odessa out of jail three times. And by God, did I hold that over his head. It, what, well, I mean, it, it came around full circle because we came and broke you out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think, did More I ever tell you story of what happened with, uh, with Bourbon and... Odessa and all the all the law that showed up that that night in the cave when I finally uh, went down. No. Well, uh, <laughs> you, you remember that that cave that you would always take uh, take us to sometimes to just kind of hey, rest that and yeah. like there was the, the ladder that goes up to the the top where you would always put your horse. Mm hmm. Well, I forgot that ladder existed. <laughs> <clears throat> So instead of going up said ladder and being home free and escaped and gone, I was pinned in the back of the cave. But see, I didn't realize what's happening because we were all so we were all split up. We met in the cave, and I went down to get my brother out of the bottom of the cave. We come up, and Odessa's got his hands up, and Lucille and Luke—it was Luke Bourbon and one other guy that he always rode with. I don't remember his name. Right? Well, they were standing oh, there all the Oh, the Swedish. Huh? The Dutchman, I mean. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I don't uh, know. Yeah. I, I think it was, if I'm not wrong, I think it was the guy that used to ride with, um, Emil. McFarlane. Or not McFarlane, um, what's his fucking yeah, name? Yeah, McFarlane. Um, you know the guy, the, 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 the two guy, Emil, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Emil. Emil. I think the that's the guy. That cornered us in Armad Armadillo that time? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that guy. I'm pretty sure it was that guy. But 
I can't remember. It was a long time ago. Oh, it most definitely was probably that guy, yeah. But yeah, they were there, and then it just kind of got worse. Because from there, like, 15 lawmen showed up. It was rough. Oh, yeah. And so we all went to prison. <laughs> yeah, prison! Oh, it sounds like a good time. Alright. I, I miss this. Bye, uh... Bye and say good day, everyone. I've got to get going. I'll see you all in the mo tomorrow. Yeah. See you later, Bernie. Yeah. Have a good night, Bernie. Yeah. Hell yeah, they're having a private conversation. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I guess it gets fairly quiet around the states these times of night. Mm. Mm. Send me sometimes, it's alright, but it's usually black water that's uh, active at these hours. Oh, is he? Mm-hmm. Dun, 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 dun. War stories, huh? <laughs> I like seeing Bernie. I, I became oh, a massive fan of Bernie when we had that encounter in the open fields. When he shouted out that line. <laughs> what did he say again? Uh, I can never forget. That's what made me love him. Something along the lines of... Uh, you all better get the fuck out of here before I start putting bullets in people. <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> I love this one. Ah! Bernie, man. <laughs> Fucking Bernie. Oh, I love him. He's... Amazing. You get Bur He's probably oh, the wildest I one. Yes, Bernie's. Yes. Why well, give Bernie a stick and a city, <laughs> and that whole city will be blind within the afternoon. It, 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 he will literally level an entire state with less than a stick. Oh yeah. Y you don't even need to give him the stick. <laughs> no. All he needs is a reason. Something to fight for. <laughs> I a good boy. So yeah. Today went way better than I expected. Somehow I I'm up like six to be hours dead. longer than I, uh, I should have been, <laughs> without realizing it. Yeah? Yeah, I guess that happens. It's always nice being here. Yeah. Good company, good good stories from days past, it's, it's, it's good. Is it weird if I kind of miss how we used to ride together? <laughs> no, it's not weird. What is weird is you want to become a lawman. Me? After all yeah, the shit you've seen lawmen do. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, Mr. Barber. Firstly, okay, this is point number one. I've seen you kill at least two. Huh? Okay? What? Never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> and, and also, we used to be the, the nameless, motherfucker. Uh-huh, okay, all right. What do you mean you? The nameless may be you. The nameless never goes away. The nameless never dies. What, you think I won't we do crazy that. shit right. just because I'm trying to become a deputy? Just Where's your belt buckle not there? Big thing doesn't mean it's not a Damn it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shut up, Sasso. Don't become a lawman. 
This movie. It doesn't have the belt buckle. <laughs> I'll get the One of these days he's going to have our belt buckle, but he's going to flip it upside down so it looks like a sheriff's badge again. <laughs> Someone I told you why it's to be Like I told you earlier, it's fun. If you if you become a lawman, the things that you watched me do to them, I will literally do them to you, just so you can understand how mad I am at you for doing that. Oh, 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 my ears are having such a good time right now. Oh, yes, tell me more. Oh. <laughs> can somebody please shoot him? Hey, I'm not even oh, I think he'd like it himself eventually. I mean, being a lawman, yeah, he'll get shot. Perfect. <laughs> Hopefully by Mr. Barber. I will never shoot you, Sasa. What? You will never become a lawman. But I want you to shoot <laughs> me. I'm, I'm serious. If you become a lawman, I'm gonna do it. I'm not. I'm not kidding. And and yeah, I hope you're Billy not. gave me some nice new um toys to test out. And oh then, yes. You know, mm. You run pretty fast, so it'll probably be fun. Mm. Oh, yes. Throw your knife at me, pierce my okay. skin, and I have all my bloods coming out. Mm, yes. <laughs> you, realize, you realize the guy over there is listening, right? He's... he's, he's... Shut the fuck up. Hello, Liam. Please. Hey, no, no kissing. No, Devon, I, please, no kissing. All right? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> also, Magnolia, this madness mm -hmm. used to go on every day. Hmm. It's I used to saw at Emerald Ranch that I was trying to kind of rebuild the glory days. Hmm. Was nowhere near this. It was something completely different. <laughs> Y'all are reminding me something awful about the past now. Mm -hmm. And. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, I kind of want to go down to that sheriff's office and just oh, prove oh, it. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that's I'm one sorry. way to calm him down. Just try and restrain him before he gets there. Oh, this is your hat. I forgot well, about that now. part. I, for I forgot about that part. You have very strong forearm. You know what I remember, actually? We were running <laughs> away from law inside Saint Denis, and then we. We ran out of there from Law and Bunty Hunter, and we come across this house with a lady inside. And then, you know, we told her we're just travelers, we're looking for a hot meal if possible, we're willing to pay. And then Barber here sweet talked to her to let us in, and we hid from the Law and the, and the Bunty Hunters in her house eating soup. <laughs> mm. Poor lady, had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we convinced her we were just travelers. It was middle of the winter. Snow was blowing it was, everywhere. Yeah, it, it was, was horrible. cold. You remember that, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was fucking awful. Poor lady. I was running from. Do you remember uh, Tris and all them? Oh, that do I remember squad? Tris? Who doesn't remember <laughs> yeah. that bitch? Come on. So, <laughs> I, was, I was running from her. And everybody else uh, that was with her, right? Well, I come up to the, the, this big, big, big bridge up north, and I, I went underneath it because I needed to stop and let the horse rest. And all I hear is screaming above me, "Where is she?" Like in her, her, her voice, just angry as hell. Yeah. Where is she? Go this way. Look over there. Go. Keep following <laughs> the tracks. And it just it. Ah. Uh, the only so thing it, I remember her saying... Me, that memory makes me happy inside. Uh, that sounds very nice. The only thing I remember her saying... Was, uh... FIRE! Yeah, I wasn't even there for that. <laughs> no, no, you told me all about it in the market, right? Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. I was Deputies there. open fire! I wish I was there. Deputies uh. open fire! <laughs> and then they proceed to all just get... Brutalized. Oh, very much so. Was that was unfortunate. You don't, st you don't storm shop like that. Yeah, oh, I was building times. much like the pawn shop down in Saint Denis. <sighs> I was, was I was uh, quite intense. Yeah. 
I wasn't there. I was being transported to the desert. <laughs> yeah, our whole our whole situation was like a distraction for your rescue. It was great. Well, yeah, not really I wish a distraction was, uh... for the rescue, but that's what it ended up being. Mm -hmm. Two different group and like ten just random folks helped out with that. It, it was we we never would have found you if it weren't for the uh, if it weren't for the telegrams from literal anonymous people sending telegrams to me and everyone else telling us that they seen you going through different areas. So we were literally able to track you by witnesses. <laughs> so good. That that's how we found see. We, we did some things right. Right. We had the people so on our side. The only people that absolutely hated us was the law. People <laughs> loved us because of your music and bitcoin. That's some bad luck there. And I was the bitcoin that got him. What was that? I missed the bitcoin. I, this hat feels so good on, on, on my head. I think I'm It is a very nice hat. <laughs> You're not gonna keep my hat. Okay. I'm alive again. Well, you weren't for a while. And that sucked. True. A lot. Yeah. Don't do that again. Mm. Cool. No. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> I won't fake my death again. I'll <laughs> try my best not to, at least. Yeah. That's a That's lot a of hooves. Boy. That is a lot of hooves. They're coming here. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah. Patty. Oh, you're welcome on in, fellas. Whoa. Dollars. Eight hundred dollars on one hanging oh. glass. Shit, brother, I'm so sorry. Go up there. <laughs> it's the turn, and that's all she wrote. For you were ahead when you bet. That was the important part. I was ahead when I bet, and I was ahead on the flop. Well, it's been good meeting you, old lads. I don't think I'm going to head off and they'll get a nightcap. How's it, Liam? Right. Toy. Catch you later. Yeah. That was good meeting you. Let's go down to the bar. <laughs> I think I'm about to pack up the die. That my horse or is it the other one? That one's my horse, okay. So we are gonna go to the little uh, village up the way. I'm probably going to turn in for a little bit. Jesus. Passing through. Oh, ain't that a problem? if there are any like scenes that kind of show somebody living here otherwise we can just like fucking crash here all right no signs of anybody living here so we are gonna crash here for now but i thank everyone for being here thank everyone that has hung out and popped in seen what we were getting up to much love and appreciation we'll catch us all later